Hi, thank you so much for watching Tomochita Music. I just did a uh, Skype lesson and my student, uh, we are working on his original song and the introduction and I was helping him, you know, make melody, like melody, like an intro melody. So this is really how to make a good melody. Also, my tip for you that how to make better melody, even same melody, you can play different strings, different touch, different bending, a lot of different nuances. So let's learn this. So I just made up chord progression. So first chord is A flat. Okay. A flat. And then C minor. Kind of sad sounding, you know. And then two, but I just made a major. Like a Beatles, you know, sometimes two is major. You know, right? And then five. So one is A flat. Okay? Three minor. And just two is major. Non diatonic, just a little bit different. So what I did was more like like R and B, you know. So it's, it's typical, you know. Five, six, one, then. And then what, what happening was my student did, did a great melody, but position he chosen was a little bit muddy because around 11th and 13th frets and a third string. So basically, bottom is more like a lower string and higher frets gets muddy because of fret size, you know, fret to become kind of narrow. And sometimes, case by case, that sounds is great because more mellow, okay? But this guitar, it's already mellow. <laughs> so, like... That's good. Then... Say like if you, you play like a sort of scale going down. Here's the problem. That note. It's muddy. That's muddy too. So. So you see, 4th, 3rd string, 12th frets, 13th frets, that's muddy. So I will change that into higher string. So something like that, if you go down. Maybe going down like that. Okay, so maybe I should play that. Okay, so that was choice most people do it because comfortable position, you know, around everything connecting. But how about it?
maybe go here. So that makes like a little bit more cleaner. that so so you get the idea fingering and strings maybe a little bit more higher strings you don't have to go all the way maybe you know fourth third strings bring up the third second string try out like that so that case sometime triad is really great knowledge to do you know follow so a for that This is most like a session people do sometimes, like, you know, kind of think about uh, A flat like that, almost like a hitting bottom notes and top notes and try it. See, when you do session or jam, you have to know chord progression. You can't just guess to do it because you can guess. You can try when you practice, but when you performance, that's the end, you know? So you wanna feel more comfortable. So this case, A flat, you wanna do first inversion, second inversion, and root position. But then what you do, like that. And then C, C minor, Beautiful. So C minor. Sorry. Like that. And then. So each triad, only three types, you know. So this case. Okay, C minor. That's already a great melody, right? And then what was the next one? Oh yeah, B flat. E flat. So you have to be ready, like so when you practice like this, really nice, A flat. C minor, B flat, E flat, sorry, <laughs> De tarame. and blues. guitar is so amazing because I already own 1967 Gibson ES335 when I was when I bought when I was um, 16 or 17 but um, I think that guitar probably came from California because peg and uh, saddle was already very dry that's, uh, you know, guitar is in 1967, but the guitar came to Japan probably 1980 because I bought that guitar around 1982 or 84, 82, I believe. So 82, um, yeah. So you see, so already changed, you know, tuner, changed frets and changed the subtle. And my wild dream, like, 
what, what if, if, if I have all the original, what sounds like? Then I found this guitar about two years ago at the Rumble Seed Music. And um, again, that was a very difficult conversation to talk to my wife. Oh, I want to buy a 335. She go, why? Ah, and I explain why. <laughs> I hope she understood. <laughs> so, so. So this is, this is all my knowledge about the triads. Then I worked on ear training, so gradually these I can hear as a melody. So sometimes you can try I think that's good enough, right? So basically, you make a melody, you have to choose a little bit carefully, chord tone, scale, very melodic, and singable, rhythm. Now, I suggest you to change your position. A little bit higher string, so that a little bit more brighter and clear. Now, just in case, every triad you learn, play bottom notes, top notes, so you have all chord tone playing built in. So technically, you just cannot hit the wrong note. How's that sound? Good? Thank you. Great. So <laughs> if you have any question, write it down. Any request. I love reading all your comment. This is daily thing. I just read all your comment and just write, write a note. So even this, see, I wrote a note, took, you know, then I just did it. So this is a great accomplishment for me. I write it down, same week, week later, I just do it. So we communicate really well. Thank you. If you like my content, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel. If you hit the bell notification that will alert you to all my new contents. Wow, amazing. This will help me in creating a lot more exciting and fun contents for you in the future. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. So see you soon. Take care.